What's going on everybody? It's me, Divine Malzar, and today we're doing another Super Sunday review. Got my buddy Colton back for another episode, and episode 13 was an amazingly beautiful on-model episode. I have some really cool notes taken, and me and Colton are going to dive into them right now. But before we get started, I want to ask Colton what his favorite part of the episode was in this one. I think everybody's curious because there was a lot of good moments. What, what, what was yours, man? My favorite part of the episode was after go Super Saiyan and they charged at each other and the animation just ramped up out of nowhere. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I think my favorite part was probably uh, the very beginning of the episode when they were actually in that clash with that so on uh, quote unquote. So uh, supposedly a super collapsing star type energy ball <laughs> and uh, Shemmel's screams were just incredible. But uh, that was me. But that's actually kind of where we start off. Um, the episode starts off, the Kais are shocked that the chain reaction from their energies clashing did not kill the universe. Meanwhile, really, it's because Beerus and Goku kind of wised up a little bit. But the animation was very pretty, and Toei brought the thunder to start it out. And Shemmel, in my opinion, has come a very long way with his acting and stuff since, you know, his early days in Z and the original Funimation dub. Because, just what, wow, even his grunt acting was incredible. <laughs> like, I don't know, what did you think about it, man? Um... I really feel like he's out doing Jason Douglas and it's kind of distracting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed Jason Douglas did amp it up a little bit in the anger, in the anger yeah, yeah, of his yeah, character, yeah. this episode. <clears throat> definitely yeah. seemed like it. It definitely seemed a lot like it. Um, the, 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 that's another thing I want to circle back to. These men are throwing collapsing stars back and forth metaphorically. <laughs> like the elder Kai explains that the power that they are shifting between one another is not anything unlike like a, like a, a collapsing star. That's that's fucking crazy scary because if that shit was to blow up, that a collapsing star dude, that's the power of a collapsing star. That could become a black hole, suck up the whole entire universe. Or excuse me, that star system. That's just that's a little it's a little much for two guys throwing energy beams back and forth in space, but well, well you're also wrong because he said that it was a it was not unlike a collapsing star, but on a much larger scale. Yeah, so that's like a super massive black hole at this point. Then it's, but it's safe to say these guys need to stop fighting at this point. Like, Dragon Ball Z has reached the point, at least in in this part in the series, they're basically trying to say that the characters in the show have reached the point of having such power that if they fight, they'll blow up the universe. It's like, well, that, that that's that's no fun anymore. They can't if they can't fight. What what's the point of the show? <laughs> Uh, we obviously know that's not the case in the future, guys. But uh, at this point, when we were seeing this, we had no idea. That like, raises the question to me of why is the B Goku Black Arc even a thing? Because they're fighting in a city and they're not destroying anything. How are they hurting each other? <laughs> I, I guess maybe when you like it's it's just like any type of uh, standard issued form in DBZ. At first, it's incredibly too powerful until you learn to control it. Pretty much is what I'm guessing is what it is. Like, uh, you know, as Goku and Beerus were fighting and Goku was learning to absorb the, you know, the energy output from the uh, from the blasts of each punch to one another. And Beerus essentially did the exact same thing at the end of this clash. But we'll get to that in a second. Uh, one thing that I really like uh, is um, when this is happening before Beerus absorbs it, which we're going to get to when this is happening, you know, down on the ship, we didn't he did not anticipate that Super Saiyan God would have as much power as it has. And he promises that he'll limit the destruction from this fight to just this star system. So Whis is expecting Goku and Beerus to pretty much destroy the solar system is essentially what he said. And um, Hercule made him an offer. <laughs> would you like to tell them about the offer? Because it's a beautiful no, offer. No, no, no. No, okay. no, it's, your, it's your favorite thing. <laughs> okay, okay. One of my favorite parts of the episode. Um, Hercule pulls out a Sharpie and a piece of paper and draws an all-you-can-eat-anywhere-in-the-world ticket pretty much on his dime. And Ian Sinclair's acting, the way his acting responded to Hercule's all-you-can-eat-anywhere ticket in the world was just amazing. <laughs> it was beautiful. I loved it so much. Ian Sinclair, you're a genius. I'm going to tweet this uh, review to Ian Sinclair, and I hope he watches it. Um <laughs> Um, basically, uh, he, he shuts him down. He says, well, you know, it's a good of an offer as that is. I can't take it. And, uh, Vegeta's neck is still arched back like a stripper's back. And he's ignoring Weiss's front seat show that everyone else is watching. But yeah, uh, his, his, his chin was incredibly defined there. And I'd like to point out that this episode had an interesting staff because it's the only time that the, uh, and the character designer is actually involved with the series, which led to some really on model uh, shots. Everybody looked on model this episode. It was beautiful. Although I don't think the episode had an ounce of bad animation. I don't think it did. He, he uh, storyboarded and he was co-animation supervisor. 
Yeah, and the choreography of the fight was just in. Oh, absolutely. Perfect. Um, back to the clash, though, up in space. Neither side is letting up, and uh, they go for the final blow. They go for it. And one thing that I really like, and I really think this shows a lot of character development for Hercule. Hercule's always been very protective of his daughter and, you know, his family and stuff. But this episode, we got to see him do something very selfless. You know, he went to protect his daughter. He got in front of of uh, Videl and, you know, Videl carrying Pan in her in her body. And he, he stood in front of them willing to die. Like, you know, take the hit in front of them. And uh, Gohan ran over and hugged them both. And uh, it was a really, it, it showed he can be truly brave. And then I find out that he believes his power of love stopped the end of the universe. <laughs> you might love... have let that bitch die so fast. Pan does not need to grow up. Oh, Dude, he's scared. uh-oh, he's scared deathly. <laughs> he's scared, he's scared, he's deathly scared of Videl, let alone Pan. Um, that's Colton's weak point. Videl in the shorts. Yeah, that's, uh, he just hides, he runs and hides. This one right here, I'll put her on screen. Boop, that one. He's scared of her. Uh, <laughs> um, although he believes his power stopped it, it uh, his power of love. Um, I love Chris Rager for his performance, but um, no, it was it was Beerus. Beerus absorbed it. But real quick, I want to make one comment. This man Hercule has a phone that is gold. Someone call and tell Lord Frieza this man has a phone that is gold. I mean, you could do that. <laughs> he he calls his assistant. Fun fact that Colton told me. Uh, his assistant, Pisa, who's voiced by the original Frieza from the Funimation dub, the original Funimation Frieza, Linda Young. That is so cool to see her in an episode of Super. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> Apparently you said she was in Kai, too, right? Yeah, yeah, she voices Pisa in Kai as well. That's a really cool fun fact that if you guys didn't know that, his assistant, Pisa, is the original Lord Frieza. You know, with the little raspier voice type situation. <laughs> Monkey. So, <laughs> so Beerus, <laughs> Beerus is explaining to Goku now at this point, you know, he's like, I neutralized the energy between us. You know, I, I had to power up to 100% to do so. And Goku's over there like, bro, when the fuck did you find time to do that? <laughs> but uh, he did. He did. And uh, that's when the choreography comes in and just kicks major ass, dude. And uh, but now he's become a regular Super Saiyan and everyone can sense him now because his his, his key isn't divine anymore. Then we lets us know that the ceremony of a Super Saiyan God has a limit on the power. There's a time limit. Again, DBZ with time limits and forms. I <sighs> hate that so much, but whatever. Well, I'll just wait till later. It'll be great. It'll be even better. Um, they... Uh... <laughs> They, uh, I, I really didn't appreciate the Beerus monologuing about how he'd had so much fun with Goku and how his limit, how his power level was too high and it was like sad and shit. Yeah, Beerus kind of let Goku know, like, dude, I'm having a great time, but if I wanted to, I could just obliterate you, but that would be no fun and it would be embarrassing. So, like, that was actually a little earlier than this. Oh, was it? Yeah, well, that, that was still stands. That's kind of how Beerus was... feels about the entirety of the fight. I think he's starting to get kind of fed up with it, and he he's tired of stalemating. And he says, "I'm tired of stalemates." He said he said that in the uh, in the in the blast battle with the collapsing star thing before he absorbed that. He said, "I'm tired of a stalemate. Let's end this." And Goku kept pushing back, and I think that's what really pissed Beerus off because he keeps trying to end Goku, and Goku keeps pushing further. And Beerus is like, "I gotta tap into another couple percent. I gotta tap into another couple percent." It just keeps going and going. <laughs> I imagine he's at like 24% right now. <laughs> Beerus is probably around like, mm, to be honest, I think he's probably around like maybe 45, 50 at this point. Maybe 45-ish. Well, that depends because Kyra can, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But uh, Videl makes a plea to Whis and she says, you know, it, you're wrong. It, 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 you know, y y you said we were going to die. We didn't, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, it's possible that he could win. And Whis is like, I guess it's possible, but it's unlikely. And Piccolo steps in. You know, I, I thought it was really cool. Piccolo steps in and grabs Whis's arm like, arm like, don't leave. This isn't over yet. And my man Whis gave him the boy look. He looked at him like, boy, I will. <laughs> Unhand me. And then he just. Unhand me. <laughs> yeah, literally. Because Piccolo was just, he's just, no, you don't understand. Unhand me. <laughs> like, he got real like, he gave him that look. And, and Vegeta shoots a little tiny little farty poopy <laughs> key blast. I call them little turds. They're little. He, yeah, uh, he shoots one of those. Uh, Vegeta was like, "Oh no, he dropped the baritone." Huh! <laughs> exactly, exactly. And uh, you know, up in space, Beerus and Goku are going at it again. And Goku is a you know normal Super Saiyan now. And um, and you know, Beerus is pretty much just like telling him like it's over. He's throwing punches. He's missing. But then Goku connects. This man like, he, this man literally almost used like an after image type type, type technique. Pretty much, he kind of did, or maybe he was moving so fast. Yeah, yeah. It's during it this that Beerus did the monologue I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And then Goku just kind of, you know, rises up again. And these men are just going at it hardcore. This is when, like, the super awesome animation starts even more. It was already sick the whole episode. Then they add this to the tuck. I'm like, what the? This shit is insanely good. 
I really love the scream that Beerus did at the end there, too. He went full high pitch, just, yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And one of the things I really thought was funny, and I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments probably agree, I love the laughing bits between them up there in this part of the fight. Like, they're so happy to be in a good fight. And uh, Doc Morgan coming in saying, it's no longer God versus God. It's God It's God versus uh, Super Saiyan. And it's just, is that is that what he said? I think that's what he said, right? It's God versus Goku. Yeah, God versus Goku. Like, I, I love his narration. That man should just narrate everything and, and forever. The man needs to go back and re-narrate the original Dragon Ball. <laughs> Please, 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 please put him on. Put him on. Uh, put him on Z too. Just even, I want the nostalgic dub to have him. Even though I thought I thought Calibre did a great job. Here you but, go, uh, but he was only there for like one hundred episodes. He was shit for half of those. Uh, <laughs> still, I still just enjoyed the last time on Dragon Ball Z. Well, that was mostly not him, actually. Was it? Because he did a yeah. good. He did a good impression of him then. Uh, yeah. Um. In the, that he only did that for the Boo Saga. Um. The original na- narrator they had was their original Ginyu. Oh, yeah, that's right. The original Ginyu, which Ginyu will always have a very unique voice to me. It's a voice that I really like. But uh, I mm-hmm. think at this point, it's time we get on to Frieza's thoughts for the episode, because I know everybody really looks forward to the Frieza's thoughts. Um, you know, at first, at first, you know, I, I enjoyed that. Um, uh, can, can we just talk a moment about Pisa? Pisa, apparently my old voice actress, because uh, Frieza was originally voiced by a lady. And um, I, I enjoy her as Pisa. And it's kind of funny that she's named Pisa and she's voiced by the old Frieza. And I mean, that that's just crazy. That's crazy. It's very awesome, though, honestly. I, the fight's going pretty good. I like it. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of Goku getting punched in the face. That makes me as a person feel more at <laughs> ease and centered. I like that. I enjoy watching his face get punched in. And um, I'm hopeful that by the end of this fight, he will die. And when he gets to Otherworld, I will find him and I will kill him here. And then he will cease to exist entirely. So uh, that's one thing to think about. And can we just talk about Videl looking fine here at this episode? I seen Chi-Chi looking good. Everybody was looking on mortal. Um, I'll stop, got, stop by giving her the vitamin T later. Goku will probably be dead in three episodes. You know, that's just how these things go. And, you know, I'll step in and, you know, stop that. be Go- Goten's new dad. But I'll probably kill him because he is a monkey. So I don't like monkeys. There's no monkeys inside the ship. It's not happening. She can move in, though. Cook me food. Give me a little bit of that TNA action. You know, KOK action. KOK high. Um, you know, Colton Orcs, let me ask you. Are you a fan of Lord Freezer? Moderately, moderately, yes, and it, it should be completely entirely and as a whole. You should definitely, you know, really work on that. Um, I don't want to have to destroy you. I like. I you. mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so against you if you didn't tap into Stewie every five seconds. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, 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 don't make fun of how I do the voice. It, 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 it's a well-known, well-liked voice. If there's a little bit of inspiration from Stuart Gilligan Griffin over there, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I, I, you know, hey. It, 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 it's got to have a slight British accent. It adds to the bad guy vibe. I really like it. I think course, it makes it better. Makes I mean, it there, better. There are people. There are people out there that truly believe that Vegeta sounds British, and they are dumb. <laughs> well, if he did, it'd be kind of cool. I mean, I guess maybe I'll shoot Chris Sabin an email and ask him to send me a recording of British Vegeta. And if I get it, I'll <laughs> let you guys know. Okay, okay, bye. Well, that has been Frieza's thoughts. Um, everybody, everybody, it's been another awesome Super Sunday. Is there anything you'd like to close off with or leave the viewers with at all, Colton? Mm, next episode's going to be awesome. Next episode is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see whenever uh, he has that red, uh, that tattoo shit going with the red form. I didn't. We haven't seen that yet, so when's that coming? Is that next episode? I have no idea what you're talking about, but probably. I thought, I thought, in, the, I thought in Super they actually put like red tattoos across his chest and shit, too. Uh... Uh, I don't recall. Um, I swear I seen. Way. I swear I seen some shots of that because so, they did it different from the movie. Or is that just some fan art that I seen online? And I'm just imagining something. Probably you. You might be merging that with that. I. I'm gonna go watch some sort of preview for 14 now. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll figure that out, and hopefully, if we don't forget, we'll address it next weekend. But um, I will leave you with my regular closeouts. If you're new, make sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing to the channel, you get to check out some load freezer let's plays and reactions, etc., etc., as well as uh, reviews and stuff from me, and sometimes uh, with my friends and stuff like that. So click that golden Lord Freezer face at the top left of the screen to subscribe. Click the video at the top right. That's my most recent Lord Freezer let's play, and the video at the bottom right is my most recent Lord Freezer reaction. I was pointing to the right down here. I don't know. Let me let me see. My, uh, let me see my OBS. Am I pointing to the right <laughs> spot? No, I'm pointing to the wrong spot. The video for... <laughs> okay, so uh, up there for the most recent Let's Play, down there for the most recent reaction, and up there to subscribe to the channel. Click all those buttons right there, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.